Hello and welcome to an introduction to editing a template in WordPress. Up at the top you see we have what's called the menu bar. Now this is a feature in BuddyPress or in the new version of WordPress that is a header. But we aren't going to talk about it very much. That's actually customized for my site. But this is the main menu bar with a search bar in it. This is a slider. And then we have a gallery. And followed by a form on the front page with the sidebar. Down at the very bottom you'll find a footer with a copyright. Now, if you want to see what any of this stuff looks like in the back end, you can right click on the page and choose view page source. This is a nice way to see what theme somebody's using, see just all the intricacies of their page. If you're using Firefox, you can actually check out some of those developer tools inside of there as well. So starting out, we're going to talk about how to change this menu bar up here. Each theme is getting customized so they're a little bit different and they come with documentation that teaches how to do that. For this theme in particular, we're going to go into our dashboard. I'm going to open that by holding down control to go into another page. And you'll see that load over there. Now in going in here, you'll see the theme is called Traject. Inside of here we have many different menus and a lot of them are self-explanatory. We have the slideshow, the home page, the main menu. So to change the main menu, we simply go into the main menu here. If you are on a typical WordPress page, you'll find that same main menu in a different area. You go into Appearances, and inside of the Appearances, there's actually a main menu setting in here, Menus. Inside the Menus, you would be setting up over here your menu. But this says this doesn't use any menus, therefore we can't do it for this theme. And this theme, they have their own special area, so we go into the main menu there. So not only do you want to know where to go, but you also want to know what to put in there. Now, I personally like to get a few different things in there, and I want to get people motivated to actually click on something on this bar up here. I don't want to put contact us. I don't want to put um, about us. I want to give it a little bit more of a personal feeling to it. So this is going to be our affiliate page. An affiliate is somebody in our company that they want to make money. They want to create revenue and they want to learn how to market their own company so these are people that are a little bit more business oriented within our company and they're not employees but they do have a feeling of ownership so we want to talk a little bit maybe about our company philosophy maybe we can put philosophy up here then we can also say um, marketing here and also how to make money uh, something like that. So let's go ahead and just make a few. And one of the things I do in web design that I don't see a lot of designers do, I just get something out there. Show progress, people. Make something today and act in the moment. Don't think for half an hour on what this link's going to be. Just make something there. You don't have to have the link go anywhere yet. Just get something up there. Because once you get something up that looks nice, it'll start creating a better vision for you and you'll get an idea very soon of what you want to do in the future. So let's go back over to that main menu and you can see this is what's in there already. And in this menu, you can create a new menu item, add column breaks, row breaks, and to show you what that looks like, if you go into browse certification, this has a drop down out of it. It also has a column break and has a complete different column inside of it. So let's look at the browse certifications menu. In here, you see the first column underneath of it, you see the column break, and then you see the second column. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Instead of uh, editing these, I'm just going to click on this whole area and delete it and get rid of that whole item. And we're going to do this again for a lot of these. I'm hitting the delete button, then I'm hitting the enter button on my keyboard. And I'm going to start with a blank slate. Okay, so we're going to add a new menu item and then we're going to choose just a few different options. So I'm going to speed this up just to show you my workflow, but let you know that I'm not thinking that long on it. I'm going to take, I'm going to just give myself a time limit and say two minutes. You have to have a menu ready, Matt. And here we go. Okay. And then in doing that, I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm very visual. Sure, I do a lot of programming and back-end stuff, but I want to look at the main page 
And I just want to refresh this and see what I have in front of me. So I have news, other affiliates. Cool, it's already getting a little bit closer to what I had in mind. And I'm thinking underneath the marketing your page, I'm going to have a nice drop down menu off of that. That shows a lot of different ways that my clients can market themselves. So I'm going to go back in there and I'm going to add about five more menus. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to take the marketing your page and I'm going to drag that and put on top of all of those and then put these out to the side just a little bit. Now that's going to automatically make it a drop down. If I want to make this a drop down of a drop down, you can pull it out even further in some programs. You can also add that column break in there and drag that underneath these five. Then we can add even five more. And I can drag this whole thing above that and then pull these out as well. Okay, so in marketing your page, again, I don't want to think too much. I just want to get something out there as quick as I possibly can. So here we go. Well, that's all I came up with. And who knows if I'm actually going to keep those, but you know, it's just a start for the day. So we save changes and we go back and we refresh to see what it looks like. Now, since I dragged that to the top, you see it's at the top of the menu here. It's also going to show up the first one on there. And there we go. We have the first five and then also a column break and just the titles on the other side. Cool. So I actually want marketing your page. I think that's pretty important. Then I'll have the philosophy and then make money and then other affiliates and news. So I'm going to go back over to this side and scroll down to this, these and change these around a little bit. Pull the philosophy up, move the news to the end and all of that. Now after you have that set up, you want to choose where these go. You can also choose if it's a heading or not. And when you look at this, those words are a little bit small and if I make all of these headings, it's going to make those words a little bit bigger. And I'm only doing that on the main pages, these sub pages I'm keeping without a heading on it. And now I'm going to go ahead and go to the news page. And I don't like the word blog. I hate the word blog. You see so many people that don't know web design and they call themselves bloggers. And I'm not a blogger. I'm a web designer. It looks a lot better. There's a, a lot more style and finesse put to it. So don't call yourself a blogger. Don't call your blog page a blog either. Call it a news page. Call it a what's happening, what's new. Give it some more pizzazz. And I'm looking through here to see, here we go, we have blogs. Um, I'm not sure if that's the one that I want. You know, to help you learn that next area, I'm not gonna choose that, so. Um, let's go ahead and save changes here. We realigned all those menus. Let's go back to the beginning, refresh that. And now you can see how big those are. And I don't like it, so I don't know if I don't like it because it takes up too much room and it didn't fit up there. I don't know why it went down on this other end. Let's get rid of the other affiliates completely. We got rid of it completely. Now I save the changes and I go back and refresh here. Now you can see it really big up there at the top. And honestly, I don't think I like that. So I'm going to go back in there and turn those headings off. And that's what design's all about. You change your mind, you change things, save it, and refresh just to see what it looks like. It's a nice way to make yourself a visual designer. I'm not sure, you know, that, that now blends in with the menu up here. So I think we really need it to be big to stand out so people know what to click on. So, and since I have so many pages that I do, I don't give anything very much thought. You really will find a lot more success if you just rush through things, make a decision and go on. So there you have it. We have our page and we have some links off of it. Lastly, let's make these links actually go somewhere. Let's go back over here and let's choose a page. And right there we have certifications. Sorry, we don't want that. We want to get certified to go to certifications. And then we have the advertising page, which we can go to advertise and so forth. 
Now, if you want this to go to a specific area that you don't have a page for, maybe you want it to go to your own link. You can choose a URL and you could send this over to google.com. And you know, you could change that to whatever you want. We also want the news area to show a certain category and I can have that show everything in the business category, for example, and then save that. You also wanna actually make sure those links are going where you want. So come back over here, refresh, and then let's go to the news page, make sure that actually worked. And here you go, that actually worked. So that's it, that's how to change a menu bar on the traject theme and also a little bit how to learn a little bit faster and just take action with your work.